plan was that Emma was gonna drive safe and sound for one hour on the highway and she got like four tolls and is super nervous. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> Arrivederci. It was scary, but yeah. <laughs> no, we were running from him. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Oh, nee, wat goed. Welcome back to a new video. As you saw um, in the previous video, it kind of ended in uh, police and running and a bit of chaos. Um, this trip, me and Emma talked about this and we have no idea what literally happened because we had so many incidents during two weeks period when it came to traffic in cars. So it was everything. We had a, a crash with a truck, a car that was about to flip over to our side um, in Autobahn. We had the tolls, you know, with with the height, with the length, with the roads. We didn't know if we were gonna make. Yeah, it, it was a lot of stress during these travels. So for everyone traveling with a big van, and you want to drive through the Alps and stuff, I do recommend the tollways. But what happened here, we, what we really don't explain here. We went for a walk in Lake Como. So we went grocery shopping, and then we said, let's take a walk, let's buy an ice cream before we head to France. So we're walking on a walking path and suddenly I just hear something like crashing behind us. So there's a car driving up to, you know, the higher areas that are between lanes. Um, so I just heard like we, we turn around and we saw this car crashing into that. So like the whole underneath of the car was just completely destroyed. So in my head is like that car is going to be stuck. So we keep walking. And then we can just hear one or two cars just like do do like horning like crazy. And I turn around and this car that literally just crashed are rushing towards us. And I can't even explain what goes on in your head because it was like for just like a second, there's a million thoughts. And I just see this car rushing straight towards us. It so Emma just grabs my arm and she's like, run! And we just run for our lives. But this car is basically chasing us. So I'm like, we can't just keep running forward. So I just head straight out to the streets to all of the other cars, which is not the safest. And then basically one and a half, two meters behind, this car is turning a little bit to the right and crashes straight into a cafe, into the wall. So everyone in the cafe is fine me and emma was fine but it was a very scary moment and we were both like shaking and i was just like okay emma is fine i'm fine everyone's fine how's the driver so i just run up to the car and there's this guy in there and he looks so high but i don't know if, if that's because he's in shock or you know if he's actually like high or drunk um and he's trying to stop the car again and i'm like scream up don't start the car just sit still don't move and then it was people approaching the car to be able to help out but as soon as i started screaming don't start the car everyone just ran away like they were thinking it was going to explode because yes it was all dripping and everything like everything was broken on the car but eventually some italian guys helped out and explained in italian to him that he cannot start the car so long story short this was a very intense it there was not the first incident during the roads that we had so during this trip i really didn't feel like driving after this it was really bad even when we came to the next stop by a beautiful lake that you will see later in the video but during that night i didn't even feel like filming but during that night it was like uh, every time i heard a truck as we were sleeping close to the road I could just see um, that car crashing and then I associated that to all of these trucks were going to crash into our van while we were asleep. So I kind of got a little bit traumatized from this. 
Um, but you know, it's like you say, if you fall off the horse, you need to go back up again. And I think that was a good thing that I needed to continue driving because I was basically scared of being in traffic after all of these things that happened. But um, we made it. So yeah, let's get on with the video and head to Mallorca. Who's gonna drink some wine and who's gonna eat some pizza? Amanda!
<laughs> so, the last time I went on this ferry, you guys asked why I did not film on the ferry. Uh, but let's take a tour and show you the ferry, because this ferry is actually a lot nicer than um, the one that goes from Valencia or Barcelona. So this is massive. We've been out on the sun deck the whole day, which is... Can you see my tan? See? See? <laughs> they have a pool. Um, family area. Emma, do you want to go in? Jump? Of course, but... <laughs> Shopping. We have the bar. Where I bought the wine. Or actually Emma did, but... <laughs> That's on my... It's a very fancy restaurant. <laughs> I'm completely underdressed for. <laughs> Let's run. Wait, so we can run. Wow! The stop is amazing. <laughs> it's very cool. So we need to finish. Here's the Sunday. We have another bar. We can refill the glass. I wonder if they do like uh, like shows here. Look at the blinking lights in the pool. The pool is not really working. But... A lot of you ask if this ferry is a lot nicer than the other one. If you're going to go to Mallorca, my answer is yes. So from now on, I think I'm always going to go through France because. I kind of like this ferry, like the staff is amazing, we've been having so much fun with the staff <laughs> at the Sunday. There's plenty of places to sit, to eat, drink, and yeah, I, I think we're having a good time, Ella, aren't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, we do. Bonjour. Nice. We're in Spain now. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Finally home in Mallorca. I need to show you the best van spots of Mallorca. But apparently, it's not only me who likes it. Ah! <laughs> 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 Wow, that was... Oh wow, 
I'm leaving her at the airport now. And uh, it feels weird because it's been like two weeks. We should be on each other. Yes, on each other. So, yeah, so tell me now, for people that wants to try out van life, how Do was it? it? It it is was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's not for everyone, for no. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it, it was. Uh, I really really liked it. It yeah, it felt like you were so natural in the whole van life yeah. thing, and you're just like, yeah, yeah, okay, we do that, okay, we do that, okay. I think you just have to accept that it's like, to take it easy and, uh, like, yeah, and don't do like a big thing out that you don't have the usual toilet or the yeah. shower, and you have to be a little bit, uh, you, you can't take this shower every day, but it, it feels really nice, yeah. so, yeah. especially for me that I don't like to take showers. So. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever met anyone that doesn't like to take a shower i love it but we're actually the same because it's just like it's nice it's like it's it's a hassle it's a it's a thing it's, it's like, always oh. a big project to like yeah. yeah and then you have people showering like five times a day not us not in van life van life is not for you if you shower five times a day uh but now you're gonna fly home and i hope you will be back soon yeah i'll be back okay. for sure so yeah well emma is gone i'm still here <laughs>